Tonight on Designer to the Stars. Hi. Gary. I'm designing a bathroom for Kurtwood Smith. It's kind of kinky. Yeah, true. <laughs> I mean, how much more kinky do you guys want to get? I'm playing doctor to an injured doggy. For us to go to a vet and have this done right now will cost us 500 bucks. For me to do it, it'll cost probably 30 cents. And I'm bidding a job for a hot new client. I'm in bed with Mario Lopez. I'm in bed with Gary Whitman. Oh, my God. I'm Carrie Whitman. My life's a little bit crazy. I'm completely nuts. Can you take your shirt off and stand against the wall? Uh, I've been an actress. I've dated celebrities. What was I thinking? I am so over it. Now, I'm an interior designer. Most of my clients are famous. I didn't plan it that way. It just kind of worked that way. I'm definitely very difficult to work for sometimes. I don't know what the hell he's talking. He's full of shit. I've been engaged one, two, three times. <laughs> Dogs are a huge passion of mine. So I started a dog rescue foundation. It's all a little bit crazy. I am an interior designer and a dog rescuer. My life is nuts, and I wouldn't have it any other way. OK, roll sound. Sound is good. Today I'm doing some promotional TV spots, and I hate it. Ready, Carrie? Yes. I'm at the home of 70s star Kurtwood Smith of That 70s Show. Sorry, start over. If you can just say he is the star of That of that 70s Show. What did I say? You said he's That 70s Star. I did? Yeah. We are at the star, Kurtwood Smith. The home, I start over, sorry. Turn those phones off, sweetie love. You can answer it, answer it, and then. <laughs> All right, let's take it again. We are at the home of 70s star, that 70s show, Kurtwood Smith. <laughs> we are at the home of Kurtwood Smith, the star of that 70s show, and he has hired me to design a very special room in his house. That's it, that's the keeper. Do I look 21? I look 21? <laughs> Gary, good to see you. How are you? Fine. Come on in. Uh, you know, it's purple and lavender. Um, not exactly my colors. I think the first time that everybody sees that bathroom, it's always kind of like, whoa, look at this. I think we should make it the ultimate men's hangout room that Joan would still approve of so we can, so she can come okay. in and soak in a tub. <laughs> so what I was thinking is obviously getting rid of all of this and making a custom tub over here. I think the best thing would be is if we if we tiled, took right here mm -hmm. and tiled the whole wall, mm -hmm. had a handmade tub, you know, we frame out a tub, we hot mop a tub, tile the wall all the way down like this and all the way up so you have a bigger tub. So if John and you two want to take a bath together. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be really cool to do a fixed piece of glass from the shower to the tub where you could see into it, and then the water from the tub would actually come up to the shower. Oh, okay. So you can sit so and take a bathtub the in there, and he can, and oh, he can take a shower, cool. and you guys can check each other out. And then if you want to come out, then you can go into oh, the shower. Like that <laughs> would be cool. cool. And then I love the ceiling in here, so I'd like to do something really crazy on the ceiling, like maybe some smaller mosaic tiles, or it's just, it's so cool because this is an old house, and you want to kind of play on the old house, don't well, you think? So yes, go all. we do want the shape. We still want, I like the shape. There it is. Yeah, I want to keep the shape, for sure. We could do a cabinet, like a big, mm -hmm. you know, the way we did your room, Kurt, would like we have the Balinese stuff in there with mm -hmm. the painted walls. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Maybe a big Balinese cabin with a oh. cabinet with a, a, a drop-in sink. So I'm going to tear out the bathtub and create a larger one take out the shower wall and replace it with glass. Replace all the fixtures, give them a really rad new high-tech toilet, and cover the entire arch ceiling in beautiful mosaic tile. It's kind of kinky. <laughs> it's going to be kinkier. You've got a bathtub oh, and a shower with glass in between. I mean, how much more kinky do you guys want to get? I think that's good. I think I should go get tile, and we should try to figure it out. Let me go shopping around and see what I can get. I'll bring it back. Then you guys can, I'll give you a bunch of choices. You can choose what you want. Sounds great. Thanks, guys. Great. Thanks for doing this bathroom. There's a god. I know there's a god. <laughs> I got to stop at home to get some tile samples, and then I'm going to head back to the Smiths. So let me see. I'll, there's I'll, a bug on there. I'll get it. Don't worry. Oh, my god. You just killed it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just getting ready to leave, and then Layla called with a doggy emergency. I gotta go help Layla because this dog that she was fostering got out and got hit by a car. I have to grab my little medical kit. Okay, so what's going on? Okay, well, he got out of his foster's house and apparently a car is hit him. And you can see where he was swollen right there. Does that hurt, baby boy? Does that hurt? You look Just let me know. The problem with any of the bully breeds, they have such a high tolerance for pain. 
that the bully breeds, you, you can, sometimes you can't tell if they're really hurt. A lot of the other dogs, like labs, are babies. But bully breeds, you know, he's a Dogo Argentino mix, which is kind of part of the pit bull, American Bulldog family. Boomer came from the Hurricane Katrina disaster. A bunch of people went down there and brought a bunch of dogs back that were very, very sick and emaciated. And he's one of them. Look at him. He's so beautiful. He's not crying there. He's not crying on the hips. It's OK. I uh, got my vet tech certificate right out of high school, so I was a vet tech. But that was a little while ago. <laughs> so some of the things are a little bit different now, like some of the medications I don't know as well. But as far as I do all my own IVs on the dogs, I stitch the dogs up. It just saves a lot of money for the foundation. And it's easy. It's like, you know, for us to go to a vet and have this done right now will cost us 500 bucks. For me to do it, it'll cost like 30 cents. Excuse me. Um, Kurt Wood called. He's wondering where you are, Carrie. Um, tell him that I am on my way, or can you call him right now back? Sure. Tell him that a dog got hit by a car, and they understand, they, they've worked with me, they know this is par for the course sometimes. Okay. The dog got hit by a car, and we're on our way. We'll leave here, and I'll, we'll be out of here in five minutes. Great, I'll let him know. We matched today, Layla. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> cute, cute sweater. Hey. Carrie Woodman, what are you doing? Hey, I'm sorry. I'm so late. But I'm so sorry. The, this is the day that the nude housekeepers are here. I, bet. <laughs> I have to have some people rebid the bathroom because my original tile guy and I have had a little falling out after a few years of business together. So now I'm trying to interview new guys. Hey, hi, I'm Nick Lopez here for the tile. Oh, hi, Nick. Kurt Woodman. Carrie, somebody here about cookies? Yeah. Cookies! I have the same people I've worked with for a long time, and I don't like to change a lot. So getting somebody new is kind of an issue sometimes. Crazy job, and Lynn, to be comfortable. Like, if you think it's like, oh my god, I can't do this, or it's too much, or, you know, I mean, just be honest with me. I totally, totally want to use yeah, people no, that I'm get it. Ceiling, so. Okay. Gary, I thought we were going to look at some tile. He plays the father on the 70s show. His name's Kurtwood Smith. I don't know if you watch the 70s show, but you don't know any. Don't know Forget it. I don't even know any actors. That's cool. I like that, actually. Someone in L.A. that doesn't know actors, it's cool, you know? <clears throat> I thought we were looking at Tom. No, take the dogs for another walk around the neighborhood right now, and then a good walk. Can you do me a favor and give the girls a little tinkle before I get back home, let them, let them go winkle tinks? I'm going snowboarding. Oh, good for you. I'm from Colorado. I go away all the time to ski. I'm not a great snowboarder, but I'm a good skier. Yeah, and I'm not a great surfer. Park. Look what I did. That's nothing. <laughs> Where are you going, up, Mammoth? Mammoth. Yeah. Good for you. Have fun. Will do. This I love. That is Isn't it amazing? Really cool. Really cool. Great. And so what I would do, like, we could do this on the ceiling and then do a border around the bottom oh, okay. of the ceiling. Uh -huh. That's just for the ceiling? No, no. That's the ceiling and the floor. With the Smiths, it's a little bit of a calamity at times because they have to make a decision, and I've got two and a half weeks to get this job done because they have people coming in from out of town. So I'm trying to make them happy, and they're having a hard time making the decision. Price-wise, how, how does that compare with that? This is $48 a square foot. <laughs> and how many, how many square feet are we talking 13. about? About 60 square feet. We don't even have to use these. I mean, oh, I, no, this I like them. I just, for it. it just, <laughs> you know, considering how expensive this is. I know, but, so but the lost. shower, you got to pull it in somewhere. Okay. Do you right. know what I mean? Right. We butt heads every once in a while, you know? <laughs> but that's always the case in any kind of, you know, thing in which you have input, any kind of creative input. It's not going to be a good relationship if there isn't some of that, you know? They're great people. They're, I love them. I, I have drinks with them. They're nice people. They're just hard to get a decision out of sometimes, and I want to kill them. <laughs> I'm going to need a decision from you guys by tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> we'll get it done. It's going to look amazing no matter what we do. Hi, Brian. Good morning. Madison got jealous because she wants half of the nuts. 
So we go half of the almonds. The squirrels get fresh almonds and pecans and what else, Warren? Walnut? Uh, walnuts. <laughs> so, we're completely eccentric and psychotic, but that's okay. <laughs> Ask them how many nuts we have. About 12 pounds of nuts. For the squirrels? For the squirrels. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. How much do you think I spend on squirrels a month? Uh, probably $50. I and mean, I thought it was more. Maybe. <laughs> I love those little squirrels. Okay, so who wants to start? So all of your to-dos are on the last page. So, so let's try to get this list at least almost all the way done, except for a couple things today, okay? Okay. Hey, Annabella, that's fine. We'll do that tomorrow. Okay. We have to bring the Denver Project thing with us today so okay. I can show you what needs to be copied and FedExed. Okay. I'm going to pick up your turkey pan from Ian and give him back his <laughs> serving fork. But we're working on Sunday, right? It's we Easter. Talked about. It's Easter. Okay, then you want to work Saturday? <laughs> Uh, Honey, why don't you guys go poops to doops, okay? And, and then come right back, and then right. I'll tell you where to go hiking with them. Okay. Quick breakdown. Where are we going to? Okay, today we're going to Jonah Kerwood's. We're redoing their entire bathroom. He's the guy from the 70s show. He plays the father, Red. Yeah. They're just extremely particular. Everything is taped off with big pieces of plastic. We just want to keep all of their belongings clean. The subcontractors know that that's part of their job. But it's your part of your job to go in there and make sure that it's done, make sure it's clean, make sure the floors have, don't have dust all over. You want to make sure everything's OK. You want to ask them, is everything cool? So we can keep them happy. Because a happy yeah. client is good for all of us. OK, guys, so we're done. I'm going to get dressed. OK, thanks, Warren. Yep. All right, Chris, I'm going to get dressed. I'll see you out there. OK, see ya. Now I'm heading over to do a bid for Mario Lopez. Mario. Nice to meet Pleasure you. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah. It's okay, a beautiful on. house. Oh, get out of here. It was this um, European soccer star's uh, house. Really? And, but he turned. See, tur hot guys reside in this house. Ah, it's yeah. He's quite the bachelor, I've heard. He's got kind of a thick reputation. I love, like, that whole Arte de Mexico. Right. Yeah, totally. You know what I'm saying? Totally. That's, like, my, like, We're a going to go to places where they, they get their stuff from. Perfect. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? That deal. Totally. That kind yeah. of look. So I don't know, I just as the I mean as the what armoire. I just kinda use it as a house stuff and to throw like you yeah, know the facts. That's good. You're, I like the fact that you're so neat. That's great. Yeah, but this is so messy for me. I'm embarrassed right now. So now because the color tone's a little weird in here, I think that in order for me to make it work with your color tone, can you take your shirt off and stand against the wall? Ah, okay. <laughs> come on, come on, just take your shirt off and let the audience Harry, see. Come on. Wow, the bedrooms are all done up. Wouldn't you know the bedrooms are done up? Well, because I have a lot of guests. This is the most comfortable bed, believe it or not. Is it's it really? ridiculous. Here, let me try that out with you. Oh, wow. I'm in bed with Mario Lopez. I was carrying with me. Oh, my God. <laughs> You've got a lot of bedrooms in here. How many bedrooms do you have? Five bedrooms. My mom stays in this room. So none of my buddies are allowed to stay in this room. And <laughs> so this is my mom's room. Because you know what your buddies do in the room. <laughs> yeah. So my mom, did, yeah, yeah, exactly. Wow, look at you. I want a closet like this. Wait, it's, it's, it's messier than I thought. Uh, there's a little bit of dust on this shoe. I just want to let you know. Yeah, no, there's a lot. No, because other... No, it's beautiful. Your closet's amazing. OK, and then this is my room. Oh, man, I didn't even make my bed. Let me make my That's bed okay. real quick. You don't have go to make out there, bed. let me make my bed. <laughs> wait, this is embarrassing. Let me go. Get it, get, 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 get real quick, real quick. No, wait, wait, I got to make the bed. Period, then you guys come in. He's got a lot of energy. <laughs> I want it kind of like a villa look. Now, I don't like anything totally. too foofy. I don't I like agree. anything too she I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Just, yeah. just like Spanish and masculine, yet sophisticated. Yet yeah, sophisticated, where people walk in and go, whoa. That's you know, cool. is that cool? Yeah. So you kind of, you know. I got it. I mean, if you're open to it, I really would like to darken the floors a little bit. Yeah, would that's that darkened. Would that be OK with you? Carrie, let me make something very clear. I'm open to whatever. You could tear crap out, paint whatever, stain whatever, and I'll be happy with it. OK. <laughs> You're single now? Yes. I forget, like, not even to look like women with the rings and stuff, but they wouldn't yeah. wear someone earrings. Yeah. You're a good catch. How come you're single? I know he has a little bit of a reputation as being a, a player and a ladies' man. I actually think he's a really down-to-earth family man. You're one of those, you know, very uh, career-oriented, strong-willed women. You're going to be a threat to a lot of men. It's I'm career-oriented career and strong-willed, and I don't like guys, like, wanting to hang out all the time. I need space. I don't want someone with me all the time. Here's the thing, though. Tell me if I'm not true. Even though you're a strong woman, I believe a strong woman even needs a stronger man, correct? Because at the end I, of the day, you are a woman. You do want to be cuddled. You want to be held. I do, just not right? seven nights a week. No, I'm all with you. Like, two nights a week. Three. Three. You got a sister? Three. Because <laughs> I'm the same way. I don't know. I enjoy him. I think he's I think he's a good guy. He's a good guy. How old is he? I got a 
to go meet Bo at my house because her dog just broke its foot, so I've got to go deal with her. Kona, what happened to your little toe? Honey, is your little toe coming out? What's happening? You got a little toe problem? Bo is one of my best friends. We do everything together. Is that your toe right there? That's your little toe. It's coming out to say hi. What's up? What's oh, up, little pup? Look at her. Come on. Look, she's very happy. Are you feeling okay, Kona? So we went to a. Uh, I went to Mario Lopez's house today. Slater? Because he wants me to do a couple rooms in his house. I know who he is. So I went he, over there. He's not cute. I thought, well, I thought, no, I, I was like, wow, you know? That's more your style than my this, style. Yeah, I like more the pretty boys, you know that. He's really sweet, but not, you know, just would be a good friend. Yeah, well, that's okay. That way. We like that. Not that I was over there to do that anyway. Right, right, no, but it's always entertaining. What's up with this? What is this? That's where she had her little cancer spot. She's not gonna get sick because I it. won't allow it. You're never gonna die. Never, ever, ever. I can't go out because I have to work it's so early tomorrow morning. I have so many clients but ready to die. Why don't we so, just go get a Bunny Mary or something? We could maybe do that. We could go to Red Rock and check out the bartender. But Peg Leek's gonna come too. Peg come on, one. Peggy. I met this tile guy the other day. What was his name again? Nick. He was kind of cute. I don't know. He's, he, he snowboards, which is cool. I like those kind of athletic, outdoorsy types. <laughs> I just want to meet with him because I, I just hope he's not too green to do a job this big. Lucy, we have another friend. Hey. Hey, how, how are you? How was snowboarding? Really good. Really was really it? Good. Was the snow good? Really good? Lucy, this is Nick. He's a tile guy. This is Lucy. Hi, Lucy. OK, here's what we got. That's a half by half. Yeah, that's what it is, right? And have you laid these half by halves before? Yeah. Because this stuff is super expensive. Yeah. Super, super, no. We're talking 70 bucks a square foot. Super, super expensive. I want to make sure you feel confident that you can install this the way, because these clients are super picky. super picky. I think she wants to make sure I'm going to work every day. Make sure I bring a crew of people with me to get the job done. I've never done a whole bathroom like that. With the, with the, the tote, with yeah. yeah. Okay. And I, I like the I like the idea of it. So. It's hard to give Nick the opportunity to do this bathroom when he hasn't had this kind of experience. I, I know it's a lot of work. No, um, it's a, a whole lot of work. But yeah, I think we'll get it done. And on someone that's as particular as Joan and Kurtwood are, I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. But I want to I want to use him on something else because I like him. All right, thanks, Nick. Okay. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Okay, this is Kurtwood Smith's house. Okay. He was the star of that 70s show, plays the dad. Yeah. They love to oversee everything. They love to get in it and go, oh my God, the plumbing's hanging out. So you have to really hold their hand. So we just demoed this entire bathroom. It was bright purple. Okay. Do you own a tape measure? I do. OK. Do you have it with you? No, I don't. OK. Can you bring it next time you yeah. come? Great. Since Nick didn't work out, I'm going to use my standby tile guys, Eddie and Milo. This whole concrete's got to come out. All this concrete and the drain's got to be way dropped down below, below this plywood to do that. Do you remember at Dave's house where we did the glass? Dave, the guy up with the stripper pole in yeah. his living room? We did the glass that goes. I saw you up there, Jose. Um, we did. Can you go get Kurtwood, the, the sure. client? Okay, the tub is going to go out here. We cannot move the shower out, but we can drop the floor four to seven inches. We cannot move the shower out to line up with the tub because then it won't line up with the ceiling. Well, I don't want to mess with the ceiling. Okay. So what you're saying is the thing you'd have to come out with a ledge here, exactly. have a little ledge there. Gonna, exactly. Wouldn't that kind of mess with? Right? Yeah, I mean it's okay for the tub because the, it's okay if this part comes out. But remember, it's going to be like this, and then the tub's going to come out a little bit, and then like this. We reseated this into the wall, back like six inches. Mm -hmm. You'd be okay, right, Jose? Yeah. On a deck. If you're talking about putting the fixture. Yeah, I think if we just look at this, you know, it's kind of thick. Cut a hole in here, stick it actually into the wall where this will see. This will still stick out. Okay, now I got a couple of things I want to show you. Okay, in here. She doesn't know about this. Okay. <laughs> Some doors that we had from another house that we were going to use in our last house, and we never got around to it. Let's see. Oh, the doors. Yeah. Have you seen these before? Oh, those are cool. Oh, it 
looks good with this stuff, huh? With the silver and everything? Well, it does look good, but they're so big. Joan had been thinking, oh, well, of course you hadn't seen them in here. But you know, when we were tall. talking about the cabinet, but they're too tall for they're that. Too tall. So, yeah, you know, there's no just, way. Uh, you can't do it. There's no way. It's not going to work. I'm sorry. Because they're beautiful. We'll find somewhere else to put them. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go get Milo to start. Jose and you're going to start. And i got to get to another job site. So if you need anything, you got myself. You have another job other than mine? I'm yeah. sorry. It can't be nearly as important as my job. It's not. That's why we spent half the morning here. That's what I want. See you guys later. The dog that we're going to see right now, his name is Boomer. Mm -hmm. And Amanda and Dave have now adopted him. Excellent. And I wanted to do a checkup on him to see how he was doing because he had been hit by a car from another foster home. And uh, I just wanted to make sure he's also happy in his new home. There he is. That's Boomer. That's Boomer. There's Boomer. Hi, Boomer. Boomer, 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 Boomer. Oh, you're Hi. Oh. Do you love these? Do you, oh, I know. <laughs> Hold on. Hold you on. Do you have to sit and do that. You have to sit and do Oh, very good oh, boy. Sucks. How is he doing? He's, oh, he's doing, doing great. Well. Is he really? He's not limping or anything after? He hasn't been little... limping, and his scar over here, you can see the hair's already starting to grow back a little bit. Oh, it is. Oh, it's so great. Oh, Boomer, did you score? Do you guys love him? Yes. Oh, They're having so him. much fun. Well, let's go to the dog park and see how he does. Come on, Boomer. You know, I save these dogs, and it takes up so much time and so much money and so much energy. You did good, dude. That's the boom. You did good. Oh, go get it. But to see Boomer with his parents, his new parents, with a little spring in his step, that one second is worth weeks of work. Feels really good. Feels really good. I'm very glad I saved your little life because you're so worth it. And look how many people you've made happy. Next time, the Smiths see their new bathroom. Ooh, it looks great. I lose my assistant, Brian, so he's gone. And hunt for a new one. Do you need to take you know? a lunch break? Uh, if I can eat at my desk. Even, that's you know, what we, so that's no, what we, we prefer. You know, we don't yeah. do lunch breaks oh, yeah, here. Right. We still no, have I mean, time. It's... And a routine shopping trip oh. Oh. goes awry. Did I do that? For more Designer to the Stars, check out we.tv.